To install the OpenQuick engine, first visit the online repository on GitHub. The URL is github.com slash gem slash oq dash engine. Here you can find all of the development files, issues, and open discussions related to OpenQuick. You will also find the details for the latest stable version of the engine, what is new, the manual, frequently asked questions, as well as the installation instructions for three different operating systems and cloud options. By default, all of the installers are for the latest stable version, and the repository files are for the master branch. If you want to install a previous version, you can do so by selecting the drop-down menu at the top left of the page. Choose the Tag tab, and then select your desired version. To install for a Windows machine, click on the option Installing on Windows. Scroll down the page to find the link to an .exe file and download that installer. Save the installer to your computer and then double click to open. Once you have opened the installer, follow through the instructions on the installation wizard. Choose all of the components available for installation. We recommend installing at the default location. Once the installation has completed, two new icons will appear on your desktop. A black icon for the console and a white icon for the OpenQuake web user interface or web UI. To verify the installed version, double click on the console icon and type in OQ dash dash version. In this particular example, we have installed version 3.7.1, but your version may be more recent. The manual for the OpenQuake engine is available in the OpenQuake folder, which is usually located in your program files, sometimes program files x86. Also in your OpenQuake folder, there is a subfolder called Demos. This includes example inputs for various hazard and risk calculations. To install for Mac, first select the version of interest. The default is for the latest stable release or master, but you can also choose an earlier version. Then scroll down the page and click the link for installing on macOS. First check that you satisfy all the requirements prior to installing the OpenQuake engine. In particular, be sure that you have installed Python version 3.6 or later. If you need it, there is a link provided to install Python. Download the installer for the version you had indicated earlier. Save the file to your computer. Next, open up the console or terminal or command line and follow through the instructions on the page. Type in the three lines of code indicated. This will set the OpenQuake engine to install and it could take a couple of minutes. You will be prompted to choose a location for installation, and we recommend that you choose the default, which is indicated here. You can hit Enter to do so. You will also be prompted to install OpenQuake tools and to set OQ at the command line. We recommend you do both, and you can hit Y and then Enter to do so. Finally, enable the virtual environment with the last command, replacing a user 
with your user. Now OpenQuake is ready to be used. You can check the installed version by typing in OQ dash dash version. The OpenQuake folder is usually located at users slash your username slash OpenQuake. And there is a folder with the demos for both the hazard and risk calculations inside the share slash demos folder. There are two options to run an OpenQuick analysis, using the web user interface or using the console. To use the web user interface, Windows users can double click on the white OpenQuake icon on the desktop. Either Mac users or Windows users can also type into the console OQ space web UI space start. Once that command is typed in, your default browser will open a window with the OpenQuake interface. Do not close the console window while running the web user interface. To run a calculation, you need to provide a zip file with all the required input files. You already have all the zip files for the demos. For example, we can run a hazard demo. Click run a calculation and find the OpenQuake folder demos folder. Within that, go to the hazards subfolder. Let's choose area source classical PSHA. Once the calculation is running, you will see it appear in the list of calculations. It will appear yellow while the calculation is executing. Once the calculation has completed, it will turn either green or red, depending on whether it was successful or not. To run calculations using the console, first open the console window, or on Mac, the terminal. You will use the OQ command and indicate the location of the configuration file on your computer. Configuration files in OpenQuake have a .ini extension. So we'll run the same example as before. Change directory to the path of area source classical PSHA. Type in CD and then the path. To see the list of files in this directory, you can type in LS. Usually the configuration file name is job.ini. To run the calculation, type in OQ space engine space dash dash run space, and then the job file name. This will take a few seconds to complete. If we go to the web user interface, we will see a new calculation listed. The OpenQuake calculations are stored in a folder called OQ Data. Depending on your version of OpenQuake Engine, your results could be saved in slightly different formats. To learn more about OpenQuake, visit the training.openquake.org page and follow our social media.